Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this this is a very promising start. This is someone making you a solid offer, or this is someone initiating a beginning that can really lead to something long-term and secure. There's something very reliable about this energy here, and it looks like a, a new beginning here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Four of Cups, Water Energy, the Seven of Swords, Air Energy, and we have the Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Okay, so with the Seven of Swords, it does look like there's a situation where you could have dealt with someone who was deceptive towards you. Someone tried to get away with something and um, you could feel like you can't trust this person. You could be holding back from this person because of this sneaky energy with the Seven of Swords. They could have been um you know quite uh strategic with how they dealt with you um but with this four of pentacles it's like you're closing yourself off to this person there's this feeling of holding on to what's yours holding on to things that you find valuable like your resources even your heart um there's this feeling of not being available to someone but with this ace of pentacles this person is extending something to you they're, they're making you an offer or they're they're extending an apology um, it does look very reliable, like there's something here that's truthful about what they're offering you. But with the Seven of Swords still showing up here, it's, it looks like you are hesitant. There's something about this person, they could have disappointed you one time too many, and it does look like you've grown a bit weary of them with the Four of Cups here. So let's clarify these cards. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So you could actually be feeling quite um, anxious over the situation. There's some sort of mental anguish happening here with this Eight of Swords. You feel victimized by this person. It does look like you dealt with someone who could have, you know, a lot of mind games, manipulation could have occurred here. And now they're coming back around here with this offer and you, you, it may actually take you off guard. You may start to overthink the situation, um, but it does look like there's this feeling of leaning towards wanting to reject the offer, but then still at the same time overthinking the situation. Let's see. Okay, we have the Justice card, Libra energy, the Four of Cups, Water energy, and the Hanged Man in the reverse. Pisces energy. So there's this Justice card, Ace of Pentacles. It looks like the, what they're offering you is like an apology or an offer of restitution, wanting to stop something again and promising that this time they have good intentions. There's this feeling of really wanting you to believe um, that they are coming towards you with sincerity. It does look like with it being an Ace of Pentacles, their apology is sincere, but it's almost like it may be too late. Um, there's something here about with the hanged man, you could have been waiting for them to do this for a long time and you've already kind of given up on that. So, you know, with the hanged man in the reverse, it's like you're not hanging in there anymore. You're not waiting. You're not being kept on the hook anymore. You're, you, you've you lost interest almost here. Yeah? And we have the four of cups strung up here twice. So this person could actually try multiple offers here. Um, like it's you reject the first one, they'll try again. But there's still this feeling of something being too late you know it's up to you how you want to respond here but there's this it looks like someone who is you know someone you, it's almost like you've lost trust in this person okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you Aries. Okay, 
Okay, we have you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Okay, so this person could have really um, affected how you view yourself. You could really feel like they try to play on your insecurities. There's this feeling of being stuck in your head when dealing with this person. This is someone who triggers feelings of inadequacy, insecurity, and anxiety within you. Okay, so I'm going to find another card for you. Okay, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So this could be one of those connections where it could have been founded on uh, you know, lust, physical desire, and you may have actually been wanting something solid with this person, but they were caught up in some sort of inauthenticity, game playing, and they could have, there's still this attraction though. So they, it looks like they're still coming back around because they still feel that attraction. They still feel a strong pull towards you. Okay, so I'm going to plot another card here. Okay, we have destiny it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves okay so it looks like you taking back control of your life this is you coming out of this victim position it's like you're having to kind of free yourself you're, you're having to really will yourself out of this situation and you know it, it won't be easy because it does look like this person this is someone who's very good at convincing people that they're sincere because this ace of pentacles it, it looks like a very solid offer but there's still that seven of swords so there is this need to be kind of weary with this person okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice Aries. Okay, we have surrender your addictions whether you're addicted to substances food people sex or, or overworking take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives okay so that's what i'm seeing for you aries i hope you have a really really good day aries bye aries